Hello and welcome to Matrix Live. My guest today is Tadzik. He's a software engineer and a contractor for the foundation. He's also an ex element employee and he's mainly working on bridges maintenance and an account migrator. Tadzik, hello. Hello, it's good to hear from you. Yeah, um, can you tell us a bit more about the account migrator I've been talking about? What is it? Right, so that's a project that I've been involved with recently on behalf of the foundation. Uh, and that's a tool, primarily a web app, that will allow you to move some of or all of your matrix accounts into another account. So the primary purpose for this, functionally, is to be able to migrate from one home server to the other. So, for example, if you are currently on a very crowded home server, like matrix.org, for example, and you want to move somewhere uh, that you manage or somewhere sort of closer to you, more performant, whatever, uh, this is something that you'll be able to do with the migrator as much as is possible uh, allowed by the matrix protocol. Uh, you will be able to also do things like split your matrix account into two, let's say one for work and one for private stuff, if that's your thing, or join two matrix accounts into one, but the primary purpose is from moving from one home server to the other, and this is what we're focusing on. All right, so that looks like an interesting tool. Uh, can we see a short demo? Yes, sure. Okay, so we have the migrator here. It's as you can see, it's very crude. Uh, I haven't been focusing at all on how it looks, sort of how beautiful it is. It's meant to be functional and testable. Uh, so what we're going to try to do here is we'll have a demo account here that is in a bunch of rooms and in a bunch of spaces, and it has a profile. And we're going to try to move some of this stuff to a completely new account that has nothing in it at all. And we're going to see how that works. Uh, so I'm going to log into both of them now. Uh, and we can see a bunch of options here. We have the rooms that are uh, that exist on the old account. Uh, we can see some spaces, some rooms, and you can see that some of them have warnings in it. So one of the things that uh, is important to understand about the migrator is that it cannot do everything. Uh, there are some things that Matrix just won't allow us to do. Uh, in some cases, we are not you know, above the rules of the protocol and our permission model, etc. So if we are, for example, in a private room uh, like this one, the very secret room where it's a private room that's invite only, and we do not have permissions to invite people to it. There is no way to migrate this sort of room membership using the migrator. We can't break the rules in any way. Uh, anytime that there is something possibly popping up, like we are going to lose message history because it's configured in a certain way in the room that only people can see it from the point that they join. So when we move to a new account, some of the message history will be lost. So all details like this are shown to you ahead of time, so you know what you're getting into. There is no surprises, hopefully. Uh, and yeah, that's that. Uh, we're trying to be as non-technical as possible. Like the assumption here is not that everyone is a technical user that knows very much about the matrix protocol and very much about its details. So if unknown inbound session ID is not something that means a lot to you, don't worry, you're not going to see it, at least not as a first thing. Uh, if you are an experienced user or an expert, this sort of stuff is available as a uh, detailed information if you look for it, but at the first glance, it's meant to be as easy to use as possible, uh, leaving the details sort of high hidden in the background. Uh, so what this allows us to do is opt in to some of the migration, basically. So we can migrate our profile or we can not migrate our profile. We can add a notification rule for the new account so that when messages get sent to the old account uh, or the old account gets mentioned in a room, uh, not if the message gets sent to it directly, uh, we are still going to see it. And we can also choose which rooms we want to join. So let's say we don't want to join the big public room. Uh, sometimes when we toggle a room off, some other room will become available. So for example, here we have the room that's in a space. The, the space is invite only, but we can work with that. We can invite ourselves there. Uh, but if the room requires a space membership and we're choosing not to migrate that space, then we can't migrate to the room either. So all of these sort of possible problems are shown ahead of time by design so that you know what you're getting into, you know what will work and what will not work. There's also some details here, what is or is not going to happen. Uh, some of the things mentioned here, it's you know all work in progress, this will probably be worded differently in the end, but it's meant to show you both the limitations and the possibilities and exactly what is going to happen before you actually commit to it. Uh, so let's say we're going to leave all of these things open uh, and let the migration commence. You can see right, some, some things popping in. There is an error here for setting the failed use of power level. This is something that was mentioned here somewhere. Yep, because we didn't actually have permissions to promote ourselves to moderator, which we were before. But it all happened. A new account joined all the new rooms. 
Uh, we can see the history, we can see the memberships, everything is hopefully working as intended. Uh, and that's that. Uh, this is all now running on the local server, so it's very fast. Usually it's going to take a lot longer because of rate limiting, etc. This is all accounted for, but for the sake of the demo, it's, this is how it looks. Okay, fantastic. Uh, you can stop sharing your screen now. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right, so Element was hosting a migrator as well. Uh, I don't remember the exact URL to get it. Uh, mm -hmm. but this, um, so to, to set the record clear, Element offered to open source the migrator they hosted. Um, the foundation decided not to reuse it for uh, two main reasons. Uh, the first one is that it was rather incomplete and calling very old APIs. Uh, so it was a bit brittle, uh, it could crash at times. And the other one was it wasn't really maintained. Uh, it existed, but nobody really took care of updating the dependencies and taking over that code base would have been much more work than creating it from scratch, which is why the foundation called Tadzik to the rescue mm -hmm. to come up with a, with a new solution. Um, but there are still open questions like, what will the migrator do from a technical perspective? So we could see in the demo how it's going to look like from the from the user standpoint, but mm -hmm. what is it going to do behind the scenes? Right, so something that was kind of skimmed over in the demo is of course, this is a client, a matrix client, there is nothing magical about it. So what mm -hmm. it's going to do is, is going to log into both accounts, basically collect all the information about the old account, what rooms are there, what rooms we can join and can't, uh, with what limitations, for example, some of the rooms will require invites, some of the rooms require uh, membership in other rooms, which is very common with spaces, for example. Uh, so the migrator will collect all that information and determine what can be done and in what, court, in what order it should be done. So we have to invite the new account before the new account can join, we have to join the spaces before the rooms, etc. So this is all done under the hood, uh, so that it hopefully just works. Um, uh, additionally, uh, it's going to be possible to perform certain destructive actions of the old account, so to say. This is not currently implemented in the prototype and the sort of demo that we showed, uh, but we will be able to just leave the old rooms, uh, set up a notification for messages mentioning the old account, uh, transferring over room keys so that the encryption encrypted messages aren't lost. Uh, all the account data is being copied under the hood, this also already works, so we can move things like our notification rules, uh, our ignored users, the list of DMs, uh, even things like recently used emojis and elements, this will all get moved over. So hopefully you get as good of an experience as the new account as you get on the old one. Uh, so yeah, that's basically, this is just a matrix client, it's just doing a lot of things for you. And this is sort of mirroring the way people have been doing account migrations for a while. Uh, because I've seen this both in among my friends and among my co-workers, that sometimes it's a necessity, necessity to, let's say, split our account into a work account and a personal account. Uh, people do that quite often, and it's just a lot of manual labor, involves a lot of waiting for rate limiting, etc. Uh, so the goal of the migrator is to do, do things right and do things automatically, uh, possibly incrementally as well, so you can move some of the stuff and then some of the stuff and then some of the stuff, uh, and hopefully having everything accounted for. Yeah, I'm particularly excited about the migrator because mm -hmm. there are so many things you can trip on when you are trying to migrate your uh, your own account. I've been in that situation myself recently. And when you try to split an account, like you can invite your new account into the former room, but the push rules won't be uh, won't be transferred. So you need to mm -hmm. reset up the notifications for the room, etc. And you're losing access to the, to the keys uh, if you don't import them manually. So having a tool that does that automatically is going to be a huge relief. Uh, most importantly, you said that the, the interface was bare bones for now, uh, but does everything work or is there work left to do? Apart uh, from there's, the still, there's still some of the stuff to do. So some of the things that are shown in the UI don't actually work yet. So stuff like renaming the old account and leaving rooms, like I said, any destructive actions are deliberately not implemented yet because it's easier to test things if it doesn't break them sort of as you're going on. Uh, so this is still a work in progress. Possibly by the time you are seeing this video, this is already in, but as as of right now, uh, some of these things are not implemented yet. Uh, some of the encryption stuff is still a work in progress. It requires some, some manual work. Hopefully this is resolved uh, sooner rather than later with a use of secure backup or possibly something else. We'll see what we can make of it. But ideally, this will happen automatically so you don't have to perform any manual steps. And the encryption keys will also be sort of trimmed because these accumulate over time and you may still be holding encryption keys for rooms that you're not in anymore, rooms that you won't be migrating over. Uh, so as 
the migration occurs, we will going to shorten that list a little bit. So we're studying less in the new account, as little as possible, in fact. Uh, and yeah, there's still some some room to be explored. I want to make make sure that this thing migrates everything, including things that aren't core matrix features or specific to element. So there's things that aren't in the matrix spec, but element uses them, like the account data for most recently used emojis, for example. There is certainly things in other clients than element that are stored in the account data that are worth migrating and that may need some special care. Uh, so I want to really make sure that this works for the entire eco ecosystem and not just the most popular client and the most popular setup. This is meant to be for everyone, uh, including power users, including people who do weird things with their matrix accounts. This will hopefully just work for all of those cases. So there will be some research here to make sure that we're covering all of that. Right, so I gather that uh, the point is to come with a MVP and it's not, it's not really ready right now to be tested for prime time. Um, no, not quite yet. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. so uh, you, we really want to uh, to provide a sturdy uh, migrator that is not putting your your account at risk. Uh, so probably best for the for the public to wait. But uh, if migration is an important problem to me, uh, either as an individual or an organization, because I, I have the need to migrate accounts, um, can I contribute uh, to the project? Yeah, sure. This is all, of course, open source. Uh, it's up on GitHub as you're listening to this. Uh, the source code is available. The sort of roadmap is defined and you can look into it and contribute if you want to. Uh, if you have very sort of special needs for your account that we didn't think of, please let me know, let us know. Uh, if you are a UI designer or a CSS wizard, this also will be obviously very welcome uh, if you want to chime in there. Uh, stuff like translations or uh, in general just UX work that will be very very helpful as well so of course we invite everyone this is not meant to be a one-man show I started it but hopefully it will live on uh, a long fruitful life okay um, so I'm going to share a link uh, in the in the video description so people can find it on github mm -hmm. um, so the migrator is allowing to migrate from one account to another and it it sounds like something uh, that the foundation has been working on in the past, uh, which is account portability. Uh, if account portability is such a big deal uh, and the migrator sort of does the same thing, why was account portability such a big deal in the first place? Right, so there's a lot of things that the account migrator, migrator will not be able to do. Right? We, we will not sort of taking over the old account. So if someone still messages you directly on your old matrix ID, invites the old account to rooms, there is nothing that the migrator can do about that, right? It performs migration, then it's over deliberately. Uh, it's designed to do just that and not kind of sit and take care of your old account uh, because you might still want to use it for something. Uh, so there's some things that you will never be able to do, right? Things like um, uh, keeping the message history, for example, for rooms that have it set so that you only see it from the point that you join. This is something that we can't work around with the migrator. We can't backpaginate a room that will not show a history to the new account. Ideally, hopefully, with account portability, this will just work when we move from one account to the other and we take absolutely everything with it, including you know, verified devices from other users, etc. Uh, the migrator is only sort of doing what the matrix spec currently allows it to do as a regular matrix client. Uh, and there are some things that it just will not be able to do at all because Matrix will never allow us to do that. So hopefully, account portability will solve this one day. Uh, but in the meantime, this is the best we've got. I'm still waiting for account portability. I think it's very exciting. Uh, but there are still some things that the migrator will do that, on the other hand, the account portability will not do. For example, the idea of splitting one account into two. Uh, this is, you know, account portability is not accounting for that. That's not the goal. Uh, but this is, like I said, I, in my experience, it's very common that people split accounts into two personas or merge two personas back together. Uh, also, the, the account portability, as I, as I understand it, will be a very sort of involved and invasive process. So it will still it will not work for rooms that were created and set up before account portability was a thing. Uh, there will always be some things that it will not be able to account for, even once it's ready for prime time and implemented everywhere. Uh, so hopefully the migrator can still work in that case. Right, so those are two complementary projects. We have the migrator, which is a much lower scope um, mm -hmm. that can do a lot of the work already and is 
sort of cheap to implement. And mm -hmm. then there's account portability, which is a longer term ro uh, goal that mm -hmm. is on pause at the moment uh, to be transparent. And I think we have been very transparent about that. Um, on the foundation side, uh, account portability is expensive and the foundation doesn't have the resources to make it happen at the moment. So it's on pause at least until somebody picks up the work or funds it. Uh, but in the meantime, the need to migrate accounts still exists. So an account migrator is decent workaround um, for that. Um, all right, is there anything we forgot to mention, Tatek? I'm not sure. Uh, let us know in the comments, I suppose. Uh, I'm happy to answer questions. Uh, maybe by the time this, this comes out, we'll have a matrix room for the account migrator where you can discuss these things in more detail, where you can join in uh, and let us know what you think and let me know what you think. And is there anything we're doing right or wrong that you'd like to do differently? Please let us know. This is meant to be a community effort. I'm just here, sort of in the center of it for now. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to see what people come up with and what they're going to use it for. All right. Thank you very much, Tazik. Uh, keep you. up the good work and we will update the community as we make progress and as the marketer is ready to be released. In the meantime, I will see you next week, Matrix Live. See you around. Bye-bye.